Example? If you hadn't run out in your contract in Phoenix, we could have sued over Russell's hand. But you left, negating the contract, forfeiting the deposit. You effectively traveled a long way to pay that promoter to electrocute you. Okay, your damages have put you way in the hole for this tour. Right now, you owe the record company more than you got. But your record's selling. There's money to be made. So I brought a plane in. We could add more shows to make up the difference, respectfully. We, we travel by bus. Doris is the soul of this band. That bus has been our home since we were the Jeff Beebe band. No way. Hey, man, I, I travel on a pogo stick if I thought we could make more money. You could play more dates with a plane. Well, it's not about money. It's about playing music and turning people on. Yep. Clearly, respectfully. But on the distasteful subject of money, just know that you're all making it right now. And it's all out there. I'm just talking about bringing it back here. But wh why should we pay you for something we can't do ourselves? Do you know how to keep from getting charged for the ice below the floorboards at Chicago Stadium? Do you know how to do a headlining tour? Do you know Claire Rothman at the LA Forum? Do you know Bobby Cowan, Danny Marcus, Lisa Robinson? Do you know Frank Barcelona? This is Cleveland. Where's Kid Leo? Where is he? Do you know how to get a record, not, not pressed, but played? I didn't invent the rainy day, man. I just own the best umbrella. And as much as you may believe that this is gonna last forever, it does not. Your biggest fan right now, your biggest fan, soon they're gonna wanna go to college, gonna wanna buy some clothes, spend that money some other way. And you know what? They'll tape your record from a friend's copy. You gotta take what you can when you can, while you can, and you gotta do it now. That's what the big boys do. If you think Mick Jagger will still be out there trying to be a rock star at age 50, you're sadly, sadly mistaken. Yes, well, uh, thank you, Dennis. We'll, uh, we'll think about what you said. Oh, no, you, you, you don't understand. I, I'll think about it. I'm not uh, auditioning. I came here to decide whether I wanna represent you so I'll stand outside for a moment and think about whether I want to stay. It's a good show. 